Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Uh, last night, there was a user in the chat room who was asking about forum software, and this is something I have a lot of experience with considering they all suck. I've tried about every one of them on the planet, and I know some people say, go with this one, go with that one, but like I said, they all suck. Um, right now, help.lockernome.com uses, I believe it uses a customized version of PHPBB, and uh, that allows for a lot of customization and user features. Um, a lot of people recommended, and I used for a while, Envision uh, bulletin board system, but Envision ultimately uh, kept crashing, and there were security problems. VBulletin is another one that people recommend. What form software for all the noobs out there in, in the audience? What is it? Uh, that's, a, that's a good question. Uh, sorry for not clarifying. It's essentially... Um, something that you can install on a web server so that a community can interact. And there are a lot of forums out there. Uh, you may have visited a forum in the past uh, and you didn't even realize it. It's just a, a place where people can post messages to um, a web page, if you will, and then it's organized and categorized. Yahoo Groups, uh, what is it, Google Groups, that's forum software, or it's a forum site. Uh, but forum software is something you can install on your own server. So you know help.lockernome.com? Mm -hmm. Okay. So basically help.lockernome.com is a place where our locker room community goes to ask questions and interact and whatnot. We've got like a Linux forum, uh, Windows, uh, Mac. We're going to be adding a movies forum too. Cool. It's all within the. It's all within a customized version of, of PHP BB. Uh, the uh, Chris just beach beach ball. <laughs> okay, simplemachines.com is one that KTech just recommended. Uh, I just looked at that one and it doesn't look bad. It's free, uh, but I just found out another one from, um, it was who, Sean Hickey, Head Zoo, just told us about this one. It's called Git Vanilla, and it's very, very, very clean. Uh, very clean, very streamlined, very optimized. So for instance, if you were interested in, well, you were interested in like fashion and makeup and you know things that you really enjoy, if you wanted to interact with the community of people who are also interested, what would you do? Just personally, what would you do? If you wanted to interact with these people online, where would be the first place you would turn? It wouldn't be a forum. Where would it be? I'd do a search and then go to blogs. You would go to blogs instead of forums? Yes, I don't like blogs. I mean, I don't like, sorry, I don't like forums. Why? Because it doesn't feel community-like or forum-like at all to me. Well, what does it feel like? It totally feels disconnected and list-like. Hmm. See, but some that's people. My personal no, but yeah, some people. Different. Right, but some people like said that they didn't like blogs because they thought blogs were exactly like forums because of the comment threads. It's just a forum is a place like it's a bulletin board. It's a place where people can post, and then it's just like it's more in an outline fashion. Some people say that Jaiku is kind of like a mixture between blogging and forum software because you you start the I topic. I tried Jaiku. You told me not to go there. You can. No, I'm not even saying not to go there. It's just it's kind of pointless if you use Twitter. Although okay, Twitter's been broken. If you say broken. it's pointless, then to me that equals don't go there. Don't worry about it. Well, I don't know. How many of you out there use <laughs> Jaiku? And Jaiku is a free, like a microblogging site where basically all your, your RSS feeds can be filtered out, uh, filtered out or filtered in, and then your friends, the people who say your friends can be updated. Um, I don't use Jaiku. Twitter here, screw Jaiku. Uh, Chris like drink a lot soda. What? Hun, you got to understand, a lot of these people are, th are three-year-olds, and they write like it, too. Uh, we love the three-year-olds, and we appreciate them being here, but uh, unfortunately, grammar isn't their uh, uh, strong point. Um, sorry, I realize I shouldn't be talking smack to the chat room. Uh, I rarely read blogs. I use forums a lot. See, so some See, people use that. that's interesting, and I'd like to know why. Or maybe it's because I was introduced to blogs before forums, believe it or not. No, you actually used forums. No, but I didn't did. really feel like it. I was using a forum. To me, a forum doesn't feel interactive, even though I know it is. It's supposed to be, but there is no linkage. Like so, for me, when I go from blog to blog to blog, I feel like I'm I'm moving from personality to personality to personality. So I go to the first blog, and I know this person. Yeah. And I know what she likes or whatever, and I trust her taste. So we're talking about purses or jewelry or whatever. Right. I know her taste. Whoever she lists on, on the right is people that she likes theirs. Then it's somewhat vetted, I guess you'd say. Yeah. It's because I'm going through a, li a line of people 
by association. Whereas a forum, I have no feel at all for who is who in there. It's just people posting stuff, and I don't really know who they are or where they come from or where their information comes that's from. That's a no. That's a very valid point. I that's mean, I know why I think of it. You know, I I guess for for me, and I, I mean, like I said, there's a lot of forum software out there. There's no. I don't think there's a best forum software. Um, certainly, I mean, there's even forums that are built into open source uh, content management systems like Drupal has got forum software built into it. Um, you know, there, there's you can try them all. I mean, ultimately, if you're going to install something on your server, if you want something very, very clean, very easy, I think Git Vanilla was is my top pick. Uh, PHPBB is probably the most customizable forum software, at least that I know of, and this is just what people have told me, and I know what we've been able to do with it with help.lockernome.com. So those are my recommendations, and in Ponzi's case, she wouldn't even recommend soft forum software at all. But I mean, just from her perspective, and you gotta understand, I in this case, I would respect Ponzi's opinion more than I would respect a geek's opinion, even though the person's asking for a reason. Because Ponzi is more like 99% of the planet; they're just looking for information. And for her, it's more important to know the personality behind a post and connecting that way rather than necessarily interacting with the community. But it depends on the community because like Lockernome loves their forums. Like right. We'd never not give them forums. Well, the, yeah, so well, it's like, we did it. it there, there's a whole the community. Yeah, there's a whole history there and even even it's it's an ever evolving thing cuz forums are really good for sharing information. I mean, but so are blogs. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a time and a place for everything and ultimately you have to decide if you want to if it is a forum that you want to install or if it's going to be better off if you're just installing a blog which is going to be easier to manage for one person's perspective or, or, or multiple users. Oh, I have a question. Yeah. What's the difference between the this next kind of way of doing things and the forum way of doing things? Well, a forum is very structured. I mean, you've got categories, you've got uh, a it's built for a community, not one person. A blog can be built for one person or many people. So there's a lot of crossover between the two. But with forums, you've got, you know, individual like a forum accounts and uh, rating systems and the amount of posts and a lot of people um, you know pivot on their expertise and threaded conversations whereas a blog is more free form and, well, and forums kinda, are very structured. This next that's kind of how it does it's by category and then this next mm -hmm. I haven't heard of it what is it it's a site called this next oh, how so did I get the two dogs like, on my lap they wanted to sit with you I'm not really sure how I even got hooked up with this next, but I really like it. It's kind of This cool. next? Mm -hmm. T H I S N E X T? I think. This better not send me to an adult site. And if it does? Well, then I'm just going to have to take a time out. All right. Recommend, share, and discover great products? Yeah. Is that it? Mm hmm. That sounds just more like a social. That sounds more like a social networking okay, site so than a forum. Okay, so then that's what I like. I like social networking sites that will point me to the things that I want by, the, and then I can look at that person and see what they usually write about or talk about, and then go from there to the information that they would like to share. Yeah. So that kind of stuff is well, way more personalized to me than a forum. Forum is just like only words, no pictures, no. No, not, but no there feeling are, to it. There's no feeling. Okay, to I think. Forum. Well, I say I think it's no feeling to the forum. I think is what you're. Yeah, there's that's no what feeling. you're going for. I, I, think. I like I to have some okay. kind of a a feeling. All right, cool.